Saturday night at the Galt Arena Gardens, the Cambridge Redhawks are in action looking for win number 12 on the season as they get set to take on the Caledonia Corvairs. Let's get to the action. First period already 1-0 Cambridge. Weston Cameron goes to the corner. He feeds Cameron, frees in front who buries it, and the Redhawks extend the lead. It's 2-0. A few minutes later, Ethan Quick cuts a pass. He comes in all alone against Leonard Nysa. A head fake, but Nysa a great stop to keep it 2-zip. Five minutes left in the first. Charlie Pies finds Ezra Fisher. He roofs it and gives Cambridge a 3-0 lead after 20 minutes. Three minutes into the second, Ethan Osborne takes a shot. It gets blocked, but he follows up on the rebound and slaps it home, getting Caledonia on the board. It's 3-1. Midway through the second, now 3-2. Ethan Osborne hauled down. Ethan Quick grabs the loose puck in the corner. He feeds Jordan Ertl, who goes top shelf and ties it up at 3-3 after two periods. Third period after a save from Leonard Nysa, Luke Govro crashes into him, and Owen Yager doesn't like it. He and Govro get into it in the corner. A good battle between the two players as the intensity ratchets up in this third period. Two minutes into the period, Sammy Douglas Najem feeds Jordan Ertl. He breaks into the offensive zone, and he slides it five hole. His second of the night gives Caledonia a 4-3 lead. Five minutes later, Leonard Nysa leaves for Will Bray. Bray loses an edge below the goal line. Evan Braddock's with a seal. He finds Clark Dunford, who buries it, making it a 5-3 Corvair's lead. Two minutes later, it's Bray on the far side. He threads the needle and finds Kyler Morgan with an unbelievable feed, and Cambridge cuts the deficit. It's 5-4. Less than a minute later, Corvair's looking to clear the zone in their own end, but can't. Luke Blankhorn goes to Jack Martin. He finds Kyler Morgan. His shot is tipped by Reed Gamage. He ties things up for the Red Hawks. It's 5-5. Late in the third, it's Clark Dunford chasing after a loose puck in the Cambridge end. He comes in on a breakaway, but Nysa keeps him from scoring, and we need overtime. Overtime doesn't produce a result, so we go to the shootout. Second round, Reed Gamage coming in, cuts from left to right, and wires it home, giving the Red Hawks a 1-0 shootout lead. Let's go to the top of the third round now. Clark Dunford trying to prolong the game. He stays down the middle for the Corvairs, but sails his shot high, and the Red Hawks emerge victorious with a thrilling victory on home ice on Saturday night.